This is the best forge craft yet. Yep. Okay, I'm in your base. Awesome. All of your base are belong to my broken account. Okay, I saw you run. Am I coming towards you? Okay. I'm right here. Okay. Ha! How are you? I'm great. Now that I'm cool. back. That looks like a paint bucket. It is a paint bucket. Is it? Is it? Yeah. Okay. And over here is a blank canvas. Okay. Do you want me to get out my stencil? Well, here you go. First, choose a paint color that you like. So here, take a bucket of milk. Okay. And put it in the paint mixer. Okay. And then I pick a color I that I want. Cool. And then put the paint bucket in the top left slot. Okay. And click mix. And then look at the block. Look at what block? Like You can close the interface and look at the front of the block. Oh, look, it's paint, paint mixing! <laughs> exactly. Oh, that is awesome. Right? That is awesome. I'm throwing you a paintbrush. Okay, I think it's done. Okay. So okay. put the paint puppet on the, on the ground, place it in the world. Okay, I'm going to put it right next to the thing. Okay. 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 And then right click it on, on it with your paintbrush. Okay. Okay. Now can um, I put my stencil down? down? Yep, put your stencil on the canvas. Okay. And then right click where you put the stencils with your paintbrush. And then right click with an empty hand on the stencil. <laughs> this How is cool the coolest is that, thing ever! Here, Hold try on. this now. Ready? Put a stencil oh. on the blue paint now. Okay, uh, hold on, let me click this one. We'll do the stripes. Because okay. pink and teal look awesome together. Okay, and now click it with my paintbrush. Yep. <gasps> How did you, so wait, if I just have a paintbrush and I just paint it pink, it will just paint the whole thing pink. Yep. Can you paint words? Um, I think he's trying to get it more like granular. Like right now, the best you can do is use the stencils, but I think he's gonna make it so you can like, I don't know. I don't know what he has planned. That is awesome. Okay, where's your teal right. paintbrush? Because I'm gonna make you a full painting. If you then, cool. if you then break, if you then break the block, does it stay painted like it is? And you can move it later? I don't think so. I think actually I just tried breaking the blocks. So you don't even get the block back. So it's like glass. If you break it, it's gone. Okay, here's your paintbrush back. You can hang on to it. It doesn't matter. And it's you can always change the paint, the paint color. There's a couple paint colors over here if you wanna just just right click them with your uh, paintbrush. I'm making you oh, something. Oh, you know what else you can do? Put uh, put your stencil down, and okay. then shift right click on the stencil. Uh, shift. Oh! Oh, all right. <laughs> Look at that. Be cool that. You can have like an upside down heart or an upside down creeper face. So what if you just click on it like this? Oh, okay, wait, I need yep. your stencil back. I need your. You can keep the paintbrush, it's all right, they're cheap. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. And you I'm can gonna, stack stencils on top of each other too. So I'm like, gonna make you a beautiful, oh, I didn't mean to do that. It's all good. I'm going to make you a beautiful painting dyer. Cool. The top left one, paint it like you were, and then shift click and paint it again. Okay, wait, okay, now shift right click. Oh wait, shift right click. With an empty oh, hand. Ow. Oh, ow, I'm getting a skeleton. Okay, hold on. I got him. And then take the stencil off. See? So it kind of stacks. Wait. Oh! Yeah. So, like, it's not like one template overwrites the other. The two templates kind of go hand in hand, kind of deal. Look at that! It's massively impressive. <laughs> oh, Dyer, look, I made you a painting. I love it. Yay! It's hearts and creepers! Because creepers just want to love you and hug you. Hugs. I shall name this piece Creeper Love. Yep. I think this is probably the coolest thing. I like, no offense, because there's a lot of fancy mods out there, but I yeah. get enormous amounts of excitement over mods that are just for creative purposes. Like, yeah. I love like, all of the mods that have different color woods and 
different like hearts and stained glass and all of that because it gives you so much more into like what you can do in the game instead yeah. of just no, like really the cool computer this is this is my version of computer craft this is like this mod to me is you to computer craft exactly it's pretty cool i love it i have a new bff and also he did a heart so right clearly clearly <laughs> So oh, like, so, so you can do the, the sides side. different? Yeah. Like they oh, different so I didn't have to redo that side. I could have painted on the back. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Like, the different sides can all be different colors and, you know, make whatever you want. The stencils are neat. Oh, wait, I can't repaint this side for some reason. Oh, the paintbrush is out. There we go. I hear I was expecting to get on Forgecraft today and, I don't know, be productive and, like, mine and stuff, and then... This is the story of Forgecraft. Every time I log in and think I'm going to do something productive, they're like, hey, come look at this fancy new thing that we have. <laughs> see, that's okay. what's cool about Forgecraft. Like, on one hand, you deal with crashing all the time, but on the other hand, you see all these new toys that are like, you know, I think he's on your He body, said, oh, he like... just poked me and said, try painting glass. Oh, you can paint glass now? Like, um, let me go glass? over here. You have glass over here. I don't know I... if I have vanilla glass over here. Oh no, it did. It outlined it. Oh, and most vanilla blocks. Nope. He said vanilla blocks you can paint. Nope. I think he meant vanilla glass. The bricks? What about wood? Nope. Bricks? Oh god. I'm stuck in your house. Oh, look! Oh my yeah. gosh, you know how much easier it's gonna be to get pink colored bricks now? That's pretty cool. I like that. And then if you just do white, it just blanks it out again. Nice. Oh my god, Rainbow House says Dire Wolf. <gasps> Yo. It's a thing now. I'm oh, never gonna have a pink I house again! My next house, <laughs> my next house is a Rainbow Dash house. Done. Boom. It's been decided. Nope, Pahamar is gonna have to put me back into creative. Later, not right now, because today I'm not cheating. But he's going to have to put me into creative another time, because this is shenanigans and amazing. Look at this. Let me oh get my, my god, uh, it's so pretty! Nice. Oh no, it's raining! Don't worry, the paint won't wash away. I okay. Know. Oh, I guess you can do stencils on the bricks, too. Try the stencils on the bricks, or glass. Okay. It won't go on the brick. Try the glass, maybe? Which glass? Do you have vanilla glass? Oh, at the moment you have to paint them first, like white. Okay. And then stencil them. But that's fixed in the next version. Gotcha. Oh my god! Okay, Mike. That's really cool, Mikey, that you added vanilla support to the blocks. That's awesome. Mike, can I, I'm going to need a favor. I'm going to put in a small request. I'm going to need a lightning bolt and a cloud because I'm going to make a rainbow dash house. What other stencils do I have? Oh, glitter. I have a glitter stencil. Oh, look at it. Oh, that's cool. It's probably not glitter. It's probably supposed to be like a cow or an egg or something, but look at this looks like Pinkie Pie. Oh, he said leopard print. Oh, it's leopard print. Well, it looks like sparkles. That's what he was going for, but it didn't really work. It's the best. Look, it's a Pinkie Pie one. Awesome. Pony stencil. Yeah, Six says do pony stencils. Yes, they agree. They love it. See? Everyone loves this, Mike. I love it. I am never... People who say that they're bored of Minecraft have obviously not played enough or like not opened themselves up to the world mods. Cause I, this is gonna be my soapbox for like 2.5 seconds where I talk about mods and my experience. I was terrified to do mods. Like ask Dyer, Dyer, how long did you tell me to come on to Forgecraft? And I like was like, no, it was months. I don't know, a couple months. It was months where he was like, you should come on Forgecraft. And I was like, no, I don't wanna do it because I, it's too complicated. And I'm 
just not going to be able to handle it and I didn't feel like I was going to be able to understand any of them. Going into like modding and like playing around with stuff like this has literally been the best decision I've ever made in my gaming life. Like you open yourself up to so many more options and it's a completely different gameplay experience. It sounds really dumb because it's like paint, right? Like, oh, it's a heart stencil. But literally, it's it completely changes how you, like now I can make a whole pony village in the sky if I wanted to in a single player world or on this server because somebody took the time to make an awesome freaky mod that does this stuff. And then you've got communities of people that do it. Like, it's fantastic. If you're not playing any mods right now, go download the FTB pack and start playing mods because you'll never, you will never get bored of Minecraft ever, ever, ever. Because right now I could go into creative and make a whole world with paint. And then tomorrow I could want to be direwolf and get really smart with like computers. And then a week from now I could want to learn a lot about redstone and be like Seth Bling and do crazy crap that it shouldn't even be possible in a freaking game. But okay, I'm done on my soapbox now. That's it's so true though, mods are cool.